what's going on family so i decided i'm gonna make a um gumbo tonight so you guys can see my recipe in so many words but i don't have the holy trinity so please forgive me the holy trinity is some onions bell peppers and damn my mind just went blank damn i don't even have celery okay i'm missing a couple items just forgive me for it but it'll still work out because you know i do keep you a sharp chef knife keep you a sharp chef knife okay I don't know if you eat shrimp, you could do shrimp, you could do any type of seafood with it. Um, seafood cooks a little faster, so that would be the last thing you add. But as of this moment, since my husband doesn't like seafood, I'm stuck with just chicken and sausage. Lucky me, right? Nuts. Here's some cerezo sausage. You could even use... I like to honestly use andouille, but um, this is what I have on hand right now. And everybody know how that works. So we have to cut up the chicken, the sausage, the onions. If I had a bell pepper, I would be cutting that as well. And yeah, but as of right now, we're going to work. <laughs> ah! Get out my <laughs> I hate my husband, I'm sorry. Uh, oh my God, he makes me sick. I would normally use gloves, but guess what? I'm out of those too, because of what I'm doing here. Anyway, this isn't done. Forgive me, y'all video's coming, okay? But dinner time, all right? I don't have the energy for this right now. Plus, I'm letting my hair rest. I wasn't gonna show y'all what it looked like at this moment, but um, y'all deserve a video. Y'all been waiting, right? All right, let's get it. So you always want to have all of your utensils and things like that clean before you use them, obviously. Um, anytime you're working with raw meat, you wanna have a cutting board that's separate from your vegetable cutting board because you wanna make that you don't contaminate anything. You don't want the bacteria to grow on your other cutting boards, okay? Especially if you have the wooden ones. Always have plastic cutting boards on hand. If you don't think you could afford it, you can. Shockingly, you can get them from the dollar store. You want to cut your sausage. Men, you might want to look away now. But anyway, I do it at an angle like this. Oh, and guess what? My sausage has cheese in it. I'm very unhappy. But you want to cut them diagonally like that. It gives you more surface. And I don't know. There's a better bite to it. That's a lot of cheese too. Oh my God. I'm going to cry. And my bowl is sitting here. It's already prepared to be... My bowl is sitting here, it's prepared for the meat to go in it. I also keep the, the pork and chicken separated at first until uh, stuff is cooked. Yes, I'm a germaphobe to an extent. I'm a neat freak to the fullest. So y'all kinda gotta deal with that. Now we're moving on to the chicken. I cleaned the chicken and obviously it's prepped, ready to be cut. I think I have a little too much out, but um, I'm gonna make it do what it do. Oh, and some tips. 
it's easier to cut chicken as it's thawing out. Um, I kind of waited a little too long, but when it's slightly frozen, it keeps it stiff to where you can cut through, and it's a lot easier. Oh, and again, I keep the meat separated till it's cooked some. But this is the direction you want to cut your chicken. I split it. These are boneless, skinless chicken breasts, and as you can see, they're medium-sized. I don't like touching meat without gloves, as I said, so I'm sorry if I'm handling it weird. But it's medium-sized, and I have a total of six. So I think that I'm going to put some aside for my, my new baby, my puppy. But I go down the center, now I'm going to go across. And you don't want to make your chicken chunks a little too big either. You want them to be bite sized. You want to be able to have the person be able to bite through the chicken without having a fight. If you have bigger chicken, you want to cut it in three. And you want to also keep the size very, very close together because you want it to cook evenly. And as you can see, I'm keeping my hands curled in like this so I'm not cutting my fingers off. I double check the sizes as well because I do not want my chicken to be too much of a different size. You want to keep them approximately as close as possible. Alright, this is a bigger one. So what you could do with this one is, and this one's actually kind of frozen, so it makes it better. So as you can see, this size is bigger than the one that I had. So what I'm going to do with this now is I'm actually going to cut through the middle this way. And when I told you guys that it's easier to cut when it's kind of frozen, I meant it because this one's kind of easy. Well, this one's kind of frozen in the center. So as you can see, I went through it pretty easy. I had to adjust my hand because I was about to do it dangerous and I don't want none of y'all to try to blame me for y'all cutting yourselves. But I'm also going to cut it in three down this way. So as you can see, I cut it in half. I guess you would call that horizontally. And I cut it in three vertically. Now I'm going to twist it and this is considered horizontal again but you want to still keep the chicken approximately the same size as I said let me see how nice and similar these sizes are going to be the same thing for this. I told y'all I had a total of six uh, I had a total of six chicken breasts. I decided to only cut up four and I'm going to use the other two for uh, lunch that I'm going to make my husband yeah, shockingly, he still has work. Anyway, when you're working with raw chicken, you want to make certain that you're keeping everything clean, as I tell y'all all the time, okay? So now, what I'm going to do is, the knife that I used, and my cutting board, and the areas that I had worked on, on my counter, I got a disinfect. 
I don't know about y'all. But I use this liquid and bleach solution to clean with. When you do that, obviously, you want to make certain you rinse your stuff really well. But I need to use this knife again. I don't need to. Because I got more. But I'm going to. So I'm washing my knife. Washing my knife. Rinsing it really well. Same thing with the cutting board. I clean literally every square inch of the cutting board. And depending on how long you've had it, it ends up having little grooves in it. So I make certain I scrub, loose, use the scrub part first, and then I flip it over. Oh, I use these type of sponges. I love these, they're my favorite. You want to do the same thing to the area you was just cutting the meat on. normally make fish water but I'm kind of in a rush with this one now I'm going to use a dish a different dish cloth to wipe up the bleach solution because you don't want bleach in your food either we're going to season the chicken first so my recipe for my gumbo when it comes down to me seasoning my food as I tell you again I season my food but I'm actually doing a little extra on this one because I'm messing some stuff like I told you so what I'm using is the little bit of Cajun seasoning I got left I can't believe I ran out I never run out of Cajun I completely missed a little Italian seasoning. Little Italian seasoning. Some adobo. I go across the entire top. Sorry, y'all won't get measurements from me unless it's me making my cookies so I eyeball that's how it works for me some red pepper flakes some onion salt which I don't use often I normally use onion powder cuz I could go crazy with it some garlic salt I don't use garlic salt either, I use powder. Oh, and this garlic powder has parsley in it. And I use parsley in almost all my meals too, so. Those are my main ingredients, just so y'all know, so I don't have to tell y'all that over and over. Some pepper. Well, black pepper, should I say. And now some red pepper. Now this is ground red pepper. Understand me when I say, if you don't eat spicy food, don't touch it. But we eat spicy foods. So I can touch it. And I feel bad for the people who can't. I have had ulcers and everything and I still ain't stopped eating it. I was a little light on the adobo, so I'm gonna go back with it a little bit more. Okay. 
And now I put a little oil on my chicken because chicken dries out really easily and fast. And yes, this is in a strainer. So any excess oil that I don't need will run out. But a little oil actually goes in the pan too. I'm gonna do that now instead of having to wait. Okay, now I mix it and I only use one hand because I might need to add more seasoning. I do this even when I have my gloves. Again, I don't want to cross contaminate. You could get food poisoning, all types of stuff could go wrong in your life if you do that. So always be careful. Anyway, I also eyeball to make certain I don't need any um, extra meat as well. But if I need to add more seasoning, I can do it and I think that I'm going to add a little more crushed red pepper and it don't feel like I got enough of the garlic salt on it so a little more crushed red pepper actually a little more Italian seasoning as well Now it looks nicely seasoned and it feels nicely seasoned. While that marinates, I scrub the hell out of my hands and mouth. Because I'm also about to start the um, cutting the vegetables. A little bit of bleach solution on my hands. I only put a drop of the bleach in my hands like when I'm washing my hands. Don't judge me. I don't want to hear anything about me doing this. And how to wash my hands. And how to clean my nails. Guess what, y'all? You know how I said I didn't have the bell pepper? Guess why I thought I didn't have one? My son told me I didn't. I'm pissed. But we now have the Holy Trinity. We got the garlic, the onion, and the bell pepper, okay? Excitement. Make certain you rinse everything off, though. Seriously, all jokes aside, like... Even before all this corona bullshit started... I've been that way, and I'm going to continue to be that way. I don't care if they said that everything was scrubbed off with bleach on the earth. I'm going to personally do it myself. Plain bell pepper, got my onion, got my garlic. I'm going to show you how I chop, not mince, chop them up, okay? Okay, so as I showed y'all before, 
I go down the sides trying to prevent getting the white vein in there. Plus you don't want the seeds. I'm actually growing peppers right now. Thanks to my son. I would show y'all, but anyway. Like, if you get a little vein like that, that's not so bad. But I don't like to have that much vein. So I normally just take the knife and go down through there as carefully as possible and get it out. Boom, see it? Okay, now I flip it over. I do about these type strips vertically. Again, you want all your stuff to be similar in size. Oh, and also, um, I'm doing this after the chicken because I want the chicken to marinate some. I don't want to just throw it into the pan after just now putting the seasonings on it. So let it marinate for a second. You could just throw it in there if that's what you want to do. But, um, this is about the size of my bell pepper that I want. I love the smell of a bell pepper. See, all about the same size. Now I got a paper plate so I can show y'all what the Holy Trinity looks like in the end. I do want to say this is a New Orleans dish, and that's basically the term for, like the Holy Trinity is, is the term for this. You go to New Orleans and ask for a Holy Trinity, this is what you're getting. I told y'all before, I'm, I'm from the South, so everything South for me is all right. I'm a little more educated with that. I've been learning this stuff for years, and I've been up here a long time, but I'm never going to let that side leave me. Now we're going to work on the onion. Now, I have a piece of onion in here that's kind of bruised, so I'm going to work my way around it. Alright, so cutting our vegetables for the most part that is done. So we don't have to worry about doing any more of that. But I'm going to explain the, the sort of kind of explain it to you. But the Mother, the Father, the Holy Spirit. Holy Trinity. Mother, Father, Holy Spirit. But that's a play on words. But now we're going to put this food in a pot. Y'all ready? I'm ready. All right, so when I go to my roots, I go to my roots. You understand me? So, you guys need a wooden spoon, okay? And I have an entire set of them. But anyway, um, you want to put your Dutch oven. You got a Dutch oven, pot, whatever. You want to put it low. Or should I say on medium? You want your stuff to be on medium because you're first going to drop your chicken in. And the reason why I do the chicken first because number one, it got all the seasonings on it. Number two, 
it takes a little longer to cook to an extent. And number three, sorry, my daughter just cut in. But number four, oh, make sure you have one of these. Don't just be sitting and get spoon all over the place. You know what? Like, you do what you do. I, I, I keep preaching about cleanliness, but whatever. You set your vegetables aside. Um, you want to start on your chicken. Well, I do it anyway. You can start in whatever order you want to, to be honest. Me, it's chicken. I want my food done a little faster because my family be hungry. You like how warped my pot look? You want to know why? It's because I cook, okay? But we're going to carefully pour the chicken in. I make certain my hand ain't touched nothing. You want to make certain that you got it all up in there. Y'all want to put your meat in, in a nice little layer, covering the bottom of the pot on medium heat. And let it start cooking through. It's obviously going to finish cooking when um, you start adding all your other vegetables and fruits and stuff like that. But as of right now, this is what you have. You could use fresh tomatoes, but I use canned tomatoes. It's easier. It's always on hand. I stay with some. So, um, yeah. But as of right now, like I said, we're working on this this chicken, okay? So here's what I got happening now, okay? I got my rice water on. And I gave y'all my rice water recipe last time. Obviously, it varies depending on what I'm cooking. But equal parts to equal parts when you use instant rice like I'm using. Um, unless you're using the instant rice in a bag. I'm not. Anyway, so I have my paprika. I have my... I used the onion salt. I normally use onion powder, the garlic salt, which I normally use garlic powder. I have the ground red peppers, red pepper flakes, and my parsley. And I'm also about to drop uh, two bouillon cubes, chicken bouillon cubes, inside of the water and let it come to a bowl. Once you, uh, some of y'all don't season y'all rice water. Do what you do. My meat season. Sorry. But, um, so I just dropped the cubes in there. You cover it. You let it come to a rumbling bowl, and then you add your rice. Equal parts to equal parts. If I did three cups of water, I'm doing three cups of rice. Alright, now with the meat, I removed the chicken. Now, as y'all know, I started off with the chicken. And I only removed the chicken so I could brown up the sausage real quick. Then I add my... My uh, vegetables, I start the room. Oh, I'm dropping it. Jayden. Welcome, Jayden. Yeah, it's hot on that side because it got a match of good now. Now you want to set your chicken to the side. Add your sausage. That just popped the hell out of me. Now we're only browning the sausage up a little bit. It ain't that serious. 
I don't want it browned up too much. We are, um, like I said, this is quickly been sauteed. It's already cooked, so it just needs sauteed a little. And I don't remove the, like, all right, now you see me brown the, well, not brown, but you see me cook the chicken in this oil, right? I didn't remove that oil because I want all the flavors to combine. So, it's getting sauteed in that oil. I had this Dutch oven for a long, long, long time. That's why you see the scrapes and stuff. I thought I was going to have to throw it away because I thought it would rust and all that. But nope. It's nicely seasoned. How about that? And I bet a lot of y'all don't even know what it means to season your, your pot. Look at that. Our rice water came so full up fast. I measure my rice out. Now, I told you I use these. So, I'm going to do it over the water so y'all can see. Can you get me a can of crushed tomatoes down and, um, Other kind of yeah, I need those. Break them off to open them. Alright, so I added three different um cups of rice. So I need to hurry up and fill these cups to get the flame off. Wow, that worked out kind of perfect. I really need to hurry some goddamn started. Alright, you turn the flame off, put the lid on it, boom. There you go. Alright, now back to our sausage that's probably too brown. Yeah, it browned enough. Alright, now I'm going to put that in the same bowl with the chicken now. I ain't want it to brown too much. Ah, uh -uh, nope. Nope, get away. I don't know why your dad thinks he, he, that's cool. All right, as you can see, I'm trying to get the sausage out as quick as possible. It's actually smells bomb. You could just set it to the side. Thank you, baby. Oh, get the cornstarch down. Do you remember how to make a roux? Yeah, really. All right, pull it down and I'll, I'll tell you. All right, now the Holy Trinity. This can get my stuff open. All right, as you can see, it's picking up the color and everything. Beautiful, right? Hmm? All right, so I add a little seasoning to my vegetables as well. I'm going to get tired of telling y'all how much we like seasoning in my house. So y'all should get the picture already. That's onion, garlic. Crushed red pepper and brown pepper. Oh, that was too much. Oopsie. And then some ground pepper. 
All right, my son is making a roux right now. And I'll tell y'all what the roux is. It was too much to upload. Like, I, I literally got over an hour video now. Well, as of recording it, obviously when I edit, it's not going to be long. All right, so now I add all the meat back. No, that's perfect. All right, we added all the meat back. You mix it around. You mix it around. You mix it around. Fill the mixing bowl. I mean, that measuring cup up. Fill it up. So everything was always already nicely seasoned. That don't mean I'm done though, because when all the sauces get put in here, you know, a sister might add a little more. You can put that down. It's not time for it. Okay. Now you to Alright, now I'm gonna add four cups of water. All right, that's four cups of water. And then I'm going to add four yon, 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 yon cubes. I'm sorry, but I like to mess that, that up. Set. You're dripping my spoon. You're dripping my spoon sauces. That's illegal. All right, you see how it took on this red color? It's actually going to continue to change color. But I do four of these. Even though it's not at a bowl. Because I'm going to cover it up and it's going to come to a bowl real fast. I'm so mad my sausage got cheese in it, man. My son is working on the other bouillon cube. <laughs> Let's not forget when you stir, you get them bits up from the bottom. I'm telling you. You'll love me forever. Forever. I actually normally add a little more water, but y'all understand why I'm not doing that, that this second in a little bit. That is away from me. All right, while this simmers with the lid on it for a second, me and my son's going to straighten up real fast, and we will return. Sweet. All right, my baby boy decided... It was time to try some of his mama's gumbo. So he about to try the chicken right now. He already tried the sausage. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's good. You gotta say, honest to God, no, no crosses count if you really are honest. Oh. To the camera, come on. Honest to God, the process chop is fire. That's his mama cooking. Now don't cover it, because we about to get Why not? Because we about to get down with the get down, yo. Yeah. Wait, me and my baby got to tell you something about this dude that's been around our house lately. We've been catching them on camera, yeah, for real. Come. Is dude not creepy? Mm-hmm. 
And he always got on all black, right? See, we are gonna try to catch his ass in the act. So I'ma start recording when I got all sad in my truck or something, you know what I'm saying? Cause he be like off to a distance looking. And he's the one who synced it first. So we gonna, we gonna see what happens with that. There goes my husband. Looking like old ass man. Make sure you scrape off the wax there. Wow. He means wash the rind off before you kill it and eat it, Goofy. All right, back to the food. All jokes aside, let's get for real now. All right, so we're still in the same place. We done did the chicken, the sausage. We let the um, bouillon cubes come down to a bowl. So now we already know the rice is done. I ain't got to, like, explain nothing else with that. So now, do I want to add my roof first or do I want to? Oh, stop that. Get away from my food. He's trying to show y'all the wax on the rind. Do not eat an apple yet. Just scrape it off to prepare it. All right, anyway, this is a roux. Obviously, I added seasoning to it. Um, I don't have... Um, the fillet sauce, so or powder, so I use my roux recipe, which is obviously cornstarch and water is the base of it. Um, you add your seasons, whatever. I did that, okay. So I'm adding my roux, and obviously you want to whisk. And if I ain't, I ain't explain it good enough, look up a recipe for a roux. I honestly freehand most of my stuff, and that's the honest to God's truth. When I just know my recipe, I know my recipe. That's why recording it is a good idea. You don't want to get rid of your bowl yet, though. Because I'm going to have to add more water and stuff to it. But you see how it's starting to thicken up already? It's starting to look like a gravy. You see that? Do you see that? All right, son, put me a little more water in this bowl. Or put it in that. But I'm going to add my crushed tomatoes. I know they like, what the hell? But crushed tomatoes. I told you I used the crushed tomatoes and uh, diced tomatoes. Or petite, petite diced. But you see that? We now have a gumbo, baby. Now the crushed tomatoes, and this is a big can. I don't have a small family, okay? There's a family of six up in here. So, I overcook most of the time because I want leftovers and or I might have someone come over, which isn't often because I don't like people like that. But, um... You see how this just splashed everywhere because I was sloppily stirring this. So I'll use my pickup washcloth. I said washcloth. Dishcloth. To just do a quick wipe up. And if y'all do that, y'all still won't stay dirty. Like, it'll actually be clean. I was going to make some damn biscuits with this, but um, it slipped my mind. So it is what it is. We got what we got. All right, you see how this is actually, man, I wish, man, man, you would, ooh, they don't eat. Oh. My husband and my eldest son are haters. They don't eat seafood. No, he eats it. Okay, here's my room bowl. I just added a little more water to it to loosen this up some because I made it kind of thick with some shrimp yo I never got to make it with the shrimp in it, the, the crayfish and all that yeah with the sausage the shrimp the chicken and 
uh, output caught fish. It will hold up better. Some more meaty fish. Anyway, you see how I loosen it up a little bit, but it's actually going to uh, thicken up again. So I'm going to add a little more just to make certain it doesn't thicken up too much because we got to let it simmer with the lid on it for a second. And yes, I end up having to pull out my, my really big pot. Jaden, why you been extra? Now this is a total of eight cups of water now. Oh, and by the way, it was seasoned every single solitary way. As a matter of fact, I've been recording this entire time. I actually didn't do nothing without recording it. Well, except for the root part. But I actually was recording. I was just recording one spot. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But this is what it looks like as of this moment. It has to come back up to a bowl, but I want it to actually simmer. I don't want it to go into a rumbling bowl because again, it'll start curdling up and it will not be pretty. So, lid, cover, booyah. We'll be back when it's done. Do y'all see my food? Do y'all see my food? And guess what? It's done. That's done. And the rice. That's done as well. Now all we gotta do is flake it up. Normally use a fork. But um being as though I want to hurry up and feed them, I'm going to fluff it with my wooden spoon or spatula, should I say. So what you want to do first is get you some rice, right? You put it on your plate just like that. I'm going to make a nice little portion here because I'm feeding some grown-ass people. Man, my daughter is the ones that eat like birds. And you wouldn't believe it with my stomach, but that's some other story with my medical conditions and all. You want to use a ladle. You want to get some of that gumbo juice. You want to pour that all over. You want to put you some chicken. Some snossages. And if you don't eat pork, you could get some turkey sausage. There's always some sort of... Uh, replacement for something out here and I mean always that includes people as well but yeah y'all got the gist of it so hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Please try this recipe. If you do, please leave me a comment below. If you have any questions whatsoever, please leave me a comment below. You can keep your hateful, all of that stuff to yourself. Thank you very much. I have my children that read my, my comments and stuff. So, 
share like and subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell on the side that way you're notified every single time I drop a new video I greatly appreciate y'all any newcomers to the channel thank you become a part of the family you hit that that subscribe button